Hallelujah! The most hateful people I've ever seen. The rural town of Maiden, North Carolina, is the latest flashpoint in an often bitter national debate about gay rights. I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. It's a debate that intensified after President Obama earlier this month declared his support for gay marriage. But those views don't sit well with many living in rural America's so-called Bible Belt. The Bible's again it, God's again it, I'm again it. In a and recent sermon, the Baptist sin, pastor Charles Worley suggested gays and lesbians should be imprisoned behind an electric fence. In a few years, they'll die out. Do you know why they can't reproduce? So your little son starts to act a little girlish. Another pastor, also in North Carolina, recently apologized after he told parents to slap children they suspect of being gay. The second you see your son dropping the limp wrist, you rock over there and crack that wrist. They shun the love of God. Reverend Billy Ball supports his colleague's view that homosexuality is a sin. Sodomy has always been an abomination, both Old and New Testament has always been, in God's view, punishable by death. But the Southern Baptist Convention, which oversees many churches in the American South, is distancing itself from the pastors and their views. These were some of the most irresponsible, uh, uninformed and quite frankly unchristian comments I've heard from a pastor in a while. Um, as it does really impact the reputation that all of Christianity has in the world. This gay couple said they were so outraged they drove 1,200 kilometers from Florida to protest outside Worley's North Carolina church. We will go anywhere to stand up against this type of hateful rhetoric. We've spent a lot of time since 9-11 uh, talking about religious extremism in other countries. Look what's going on here in the United States. You've been deceived by the devil. Hate speech or free speech. It is a rise in anti-gay rhetoric in a country that protects freedom of expression in its constitution, no matter how incendiary or toxic. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Maiden, North Carolina.